If you had any trouble getting cards and packages delivered on time last year, the U.S. Postal Service insists it is not going to let you down this holiday season. CBS 11's J.D. Miles got access for you tonight to show you just how the Postal Service plans to do that. All new at 10 o'clock. If you use the U.S. Postal Service for holiday shipping, you only have about a week to get it in the mail if you want it to arrive by Christmas. Tonight, we're giving you a rare look inside a huge processing center where the USPS is counting on new machines to handle the holiday shipping storm. They are sights and sounds that could drive a lot of people mad. But the loud process of shipping huge amounts of holiday packages is music to the ears of employee Preston Jones. I think this is my favorite time of the year, especially, you know, making sure that customers stay happy all the time, you know. The jobs of Jones and other employees here at this Fort Worth Processing Center are made easier this year with the arrival of a new sorting machine, one of 112 installed throughout the country. They can actually do up to 3,000 packages per hour. Uh, about 12 times faster than it would be manual sorting. And uh, so, yes, th so we are ready. This is exactly what we needed. It has been a godsend to our facility. Last December, the Postal Service delivered a record 1.1 billion packages. And the number this holiday season will be close to that. We normally, we start planning for our peak season in the summer. This year, we actually began back in February and March. 600 of the 40,000 seasonal employees hired nationwide work out of three North Texas distribution centers, which each have one of the new sorting machines. They are part of a 10-year plan to improve the postal service called Delivering for America. Three important dates coming up you'll want to take note of. Wednesday the 15th is the last day you can ship by ground if you want it to arrive by Christmas. Friday the 17th for greeting cards and Saturday the 18th for priority package shipping. In Dallas tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.